Thank you, Chairman Schiff and um, Representative Swalwell. Our democracy and our governing bodies rest on a healthy and vibrant debate. Our strength lies not in our perfection, but in the diversity of our voices and our openness to civil discourse. That is why, whatever our disagreements might be as members of Congress, policy differences alone have not and must not be cause for eliminating someone from serving on a committee. In modern American history, the punishment of stripping a member of Congress of their committee assignments has been reserved for only the most egregious wrongdoings. Those convicted or indicted on corruption, those who have engaged in bribery, sexual misconduct, encouraged violence, or other grave charges. I have served on the Foreign, on the House Foreign Affairs Committee and the House Education and Labor Committee for the past two terms, committees that I have lived experience and expertise in. As a child who survived war, lived in a refugee camp, I would have never imagined that I would one day have the opportunity to serve on a subcommittee on Africa, global health, and global human rights. I would not have believed that I would one day not just serve as the first African-born member of Congress, but on a committee that oversees policies towards the continent. Kevin McCarthy's purely partisan move to strip us from our committee is not only a political stunt, but also a blow to the integrity of our democratic institution and threat to our national security. We are thankful to Peter Jeffries and House Democrats, and even some courageous Republicans for standing with us. If McCarthy wants to denigrate the integrity of the House and its case, we will always stand up to these efforts. I am grateful for the confidence of my constituents and my colleagues have shown me to serve on these committees, and I look forward to continuing that work of building a more peaceful world.